everyone, this is my scratch built DLG glider that I built for about five dollars. Um, I just did this because I didn't feel like paying what four hundred dollars or more for a DLG kit, at least a nice one. So I just built one myself. Uh, this is version two, you could say. Uh, it's got a new wing, and that's all that's different. My old wing, uh, crashed a lot and then I broke it so uh, it is improved uh, what I did is I used the Super G wings um, well the design uh, so I copied the specs of that so uh, for the wing specs it's 59 inch wingspan um, the root cord is 7 inches and the tip cord is about 3 I have my peg there with two barbecue skewers um, the root of the aileron is two inches and the tip is one. I uh, didn't use any carbon fiber in the wing. It's uh, three quarter inch strips of three thirty second uh, balsa wood that uh, I got for like eight bucks for a bunch of them. And it's on top and bottom. And as you can see my servos are mounted in the pod. And then there's just linkages. Um, so, and I put fiberglass on the middle, top and bottom, which makes the middle really strong. And I mounted it just with a bunch of epoxy, and I put this, these balsa strips on the sides to give it more surface area on both the carbon fiber boom and the wing. So that hopefully distributes the weight well. <coughs> uh, down at the tail, got the carbon fiber rod as my tail boom, which is rather flexible. Uh, the elevator, the actual control surface is one inch thick, and then total it's three inches long with like, I don't know, eight inches, I think eight inches wide, and then the vertical stabilizer is ten inches tall, um, and there is no rudder. It's a yank and bank, as they call it, or bank and yank, uh, I always get that mixed up. So, I got my little linkage coming out of the carbon fiber rod here. And it just has a little slit there that I cut. And then it just has a little control horn. And that works just fine. So, uh, look under the hood. The pod is 7 inches long and the whole length of the plane with the carbon fiber rod. And the, and the pod is 38 and a half inches. So I have... Uh, my three servos all jam-packed in here. My aileron servos are crisscrossing because I couldn't reverse the channel uh, properly to fit them in here. My elevator servo. And then I got flapperons also. Boom. And I'm running a 500 milliamp uh, hour uh, E-Flight 1S battery. Plug directly into my AR116 uh, O receiver, something like that, some spectrum receiver. And I did that because the um, I don't need a 2S with a BEC because this will run off of it because its cutoff is 3.6 volts, which is basically a fully discharged lipo. And then these servos will run off of 3 volts, so it's fine. So. Um, I also have a preset built into it that gives it a little, um, you can see under, not under, uh, reflex, that's what it's called, and then a little bit of up elevator, which I'm sure you can't see, anyways that's moving just a tiny amount, um, so yeah, those should be all the specs, the also, one extra thing is this cover is just made out of cardstock because I could not fit a balsa sheet uh, nice and flush in there because all the control horns are sticking up. So I just use some uh, cardstock with some scotch tape and that works well. Alright, so that is my DLG glider. Thank you for watching.